Well, have a good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Imagine Cruising 2024 World Indoor Bowls Championships. We're live from Potters Resorts here in Hopton on Sea. Well, that's what we have before you this afternoon. It's Mark Dawes taking on the New Zealand qualifier of Martin Kreft. And then we have the evening game, don't forget. We have Nick Brett taking on the Irish qualifier, Alistair Cole. So it looks like we're all ready to go here, so we're going to go live to the portable rink and join our very own MC. Please raise the roof for Jack Jenkins. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes, welcome back to the International Arena here at Potters Resort. Our first player out for this match, we have a New Zealand Bowls Inter-Club Team Champion. He triumphed in the PBA New Zealand qualifiers to make it here for his first appearance at the World Championships. Please welcome out from New Zealand, Martin Krefts. I'm a son of man. His opponent has five WBT titles to his name. He is two times former World Open Pairs Champion and two times former World Open Singles Champion. Please welcome out from England, world number five, Mark Dawes. <laughs> you up to Jason Parkinson and Emily Ferguson in the commentary box. Thank you very much, Jack. Good afternoon once again, everybody. Welcome back to Potter's Resorts for this 2024 Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships. Well, another good game on the cards here. Mark Dawes, household name here now on the World Bowls Tour. Taking on the New Zealand qualifier, Martin Kreft. Been here a while now, so he's had a little bit of time on the uh, the portable ring. Very, very strong bowling country worldwide, New Zealand. So you've certainly got to have some ability to uh, to qualify from, from their qualifier. Big entry as well. In the box with me this afternoon is the lovely Emily. Good afternoon, Emily. Afternoon, Jason. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. You've joined us for the first time. Don't forget, it's two sets of nine ends here for this competition. Three and tie break if needed. Shot clock's in operation. 30 seconds, they get to send the ball from when the ball stops. And each player gets five timeouts with an additional timeout rewarded if they get to a tie break One red. A very fixed stance delivery for Martin. That's perfectly acceptable, of course. She's, there's no particular right or wrong delivery. There, there is a, a textbook uh, preferred delivery if you speak to some of the high level coaches. However, I'm a firm believer as long as it's comfortable, and and as long as it's consistent. Um, that'll do for me. Depends on what your mobility is as well and your movement wise. Two red.
Oh, well, just too thick. Let off there from Mark. Be two to red. Mark's just asking for a little look at the front. I mean, hmm, not quite sure. From here, it looks like the back bowl. Nice to see so many people tuning in from New Zealand to support Martin. Was it five o'clock there, something like that, five in the morning? Two. Two shots, Mark Dawes. That's called two zero first end. Jack length twenty seven and a half meters. Oh, great start from Martin. Well played. See there, Martin's playing with the Taylor International model. Nice, strong, bias ball. Again, it's just fallen out though, so I think it's still just one green. Mark will just look at increasing the pace ever so slightly. Just found two good lines. One green. I just wonder whether Mark will play the forehand. Yeah, it looks like he's lining up for it. Could use Mark's ball, just get nicely back to the jack. Even if he splits splits them, sits in between the gap, that will put Mark into a little bit of trouble because he won't be able to get to it. We'd have to play the opposite hand. Yeah, good effort.
Just not quite reaching that. Well, it's not the easiest for Martin to add another one in here. Just looking to get on the inside of Mark's second bolt. needs to run very close touch off the bowl first oh brilliant well played. played that perfectly excellent bowl two shots martin kreft well played sir that's got two two after two ends i'm not sure how tall martin is but he's huge he's <laughs> absolutely huge i mean mark isn't short but my goodness he's very tall yeah, I thought Wayne Roberts from South Africa was tall yesterday, but I think Martin definitely towers over him. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. It's almost just uh, slightly under a fun full length. Let's see how he copes this one. Mogdor's just stepping in there. Give me a back touch up. What's the connection like? Oh, he's unlucky. Opens it up though, gives him a bit more sight of that now. He's also got the bowl or tickle on the jack available. Mark will just look at slightly closing it up. One red. Can't change too much. Turn the bowl, turn the jack. Doesn't want to go chasing too much. Oh, I think he's nipped the line again. Split on the bowl and the jack. Well played. Keep the bowl. Two on the card. Four to the score. Two shots marked Dawes. Game of two so far. Mm. Let's go 4 yes. 2 after three ends. Question there how do the foreign players fund travel to play in the World Bowls? Um, so, each of the PBA branches, the PBA Professional Bowling Association, they run the qualifiers for the World Bowls tour, a bit like the Q School that you see, mod modern snooker. Um, 
they enter uh, either a membership or a entry fee, or sometimes a bit of both, depending on what country it is. And from that money, the branch um, where they qualify from will then um, give them uh, travelling expenses, etc. Um, some players also have a uh, personal sponsorship as well, so like uh, certain brands. You see a little tiny patch on their arm if they are sponsored by a certain business. And that also helps um, pay towards whether it's travel um, or just a bit of spend, I guess, for whether they're here or sightseeing. adjustment <coughs> one inch One red. Just nip the line. Weight wasn't too bad for it. One shot, Mark Dawes. So that's score 5 2 after four ends. Winner of this game will play Alex Marshall. He managed to beat Greg in the previous game. It's a big game for Alex to win that one. I think he. Rough calculations. It certainly needs to win two. Um, to look at getting back into the the top 16 but uh, he'll face the winner of these first Jack length 27 and a half meters yeah great start Normally very good with his first two bowls, is Mark. Yeah, and it's very important in singles, and especially on this portable rink, because it's really difficult to play that in-between kind of weight. The players have only really got the draw or a full hit available to them.
Yeah, good again, finishing nicely behind. Yeah, it's finding centre rink always very, very important. Yeah, like I say, it's very important to get that pressure on early. Try not to let your opposition settle. Try and get them playing a little bit of pace early doors. Just try to throw their weight off. And that's not just here, of course. That can be just as far down as a, a standard league game. Just dominating the front end always helps. Mark will draw again. Only danger is if he just makes it slightly fatter. Centre rink once again will be perfect. Free red. Just over adjusted with that one. See, all six of the bowls are very tucked in, they've all nailed the line. Played Mark Dawes. All right. I mean, if Mark, if Martin can just sit that bowl at the back. Yeah, that's certainly what he's aiming for. Mark's giving the head a little bit more whip. If he can rest on either of those bowls, he's in within a fighting chance of scoring the shot here. Needs to stay up. Can he run. run off the bowl like that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Didn't quite see it like that, but he's done it. One shot, Martin Crab. You can just see he's just slightly tight. There's always an option, obviously, to come That's off that ball, but uh, to wobble out. around it for shot, well, might be just a little bit cheeky. Yeah, a little bit of heartbreak <laughs> for Mark Dawes, who was obviously holding the fort. But his weight was good. That length 28 metres. Yeah, fair reply that. Yeah, two good starts. Just slightly overplay him. Long green.
Oh, another brilliant try. On green. Probably just lacking a foot. But it looks like he's got two seconds. Now, this is a bit short, but this is going to finish in a pretty decent place. That's what I call a good baden, because that makes Mark play a bit more precise. I thought before Mark may have played a little bit more direct. Yeah, you can see from that angle just how much in the way that is. Right. Mm. Mark's really got to stick to the draw, just arriving. All on pace. Still just lacking that tiny little mm. bit. Yeah, forced him to play more delicate. One shot, Martin Kraft. <laughs> That's called 5 4 after six ends. Not much in it. Mark definitely being a bit more consistent, being fair. Uh, Martin's played a couple of, you know, big big bowls. A little bit of tiny bit of fortune. Um, he probably would have come in for second, to be fair, but. Uh, did get the shot. Still, that's balls for you. Just change of length slightly again. He's lost it. Can't afford to lose it. The jack's vital. I mean, there's three meters behind that tee. That's a lot of room to to land a jack in. Jack length twenty nine meters. Well, still a bit of room for Martin to draw in. If he can just find that weight. Shot bowl 18 inches, almost two feet away there. Yeah, he's done it. Well played. Has, yeah. Well done. Made the adjustment quick. One green. crowd like that one, didn't <laughs> they? <laughs> a few ums and a few R's. I think the R's made it fall over. Smiles all around. 
Well, they've had one each now with a bit of a lucky rub. Yeah. Got to look, love a, a lucky rub during the game, haven't you? You know, sometimes it can be the difference. Now a similar ball here for Mark. At a good pace. Obviously, he did get that little edge, but without it, he still would have been good. Catch the ball. Well, oh, yeah. well played. Still probably only the one, though. I say, he's probably been a little unlucky. I think he's just dragged the jack far enough for it to be just the one. He'll have a look. Yeah, just the one. One shot, Mark Dawes. 6-4. Set score 6-4 after seven ends. Length 29 and a half metres. Yeah, great opening start here. Ball first would be good. Mm, well played. Mark will probably follow it. Yeah, I was going to say he can sit the side ball, fall back. That should be shot. Two green. This is a big pull for Mark. Not far away here at all. Doesn't want the gap. Doesn't want the gap. Fall in. Yeah, yeah fancy that's it. That's fallen back. Well played. A bit of the red. Martin needs to run this down the backhand, maybe. Yeah, try yep. and get that blast ball turning out the head. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a bad connection, but it's one of them hit or bust shots going into that last end, I think. Oh, he's played difficult pace. Mm, he played the wrong pace. He should have just gone quick at it. He should have gone very quick and kept it simple. He's just 
can't play that pace on here, unfortunately. Just for some reason, whatever it is, just very, very, very difficult. Just easier going more direct, play the two Red Bulls away. And that's perhaps where the top 16 players have an advantage because they very much know oh that. They know that in between sort of pace rarely pulls off on the portable rink. Whereas overseas players, they're probably very much used to playing those kind of shots. Yeah, I kind of half agree with you. Um, the slight difference that what I would say is if you come into something like this, listen, I would say listen back to a lot of the commentaries, yeah, various, diff various different commentaries from various different players and just listen. And you soon realise you don't play that shot. Everyone says that. Listen to, shot, to what people are playing and just play a little bit more attacking. However, you can sometimes just get sucked into it. We all do it. You know, I think Harry Goodwin from one of his games, he was very open and honest, wasn't he, when he beat Wayne Wilgress. One of his one of his statements was a couple of times I got sucked ends. into playing the shot I know I can't play. Um, yes. It's always personal choice. I would have just liked to have seen him go a bit quicker. So Mark has a good advantage going into the final end. Attack length, 29 metres. Can he sneak past? Oh, just lacking. Great line. Red. Needs a three though, just needs to be slightly more positive with this third bowl of his. Mark will just put another one in. Ideally, if he could finish a foot past the jack, that would be absolutely perfect. Three red. He's made that head very wide. I mean, I don't, I've never seen Martin drive, so I'm not sure what drive he has in him, but they could all go. Yeah, any contact on any of the red balls, and they should all be turning out. Just missed it. Right, Martin, you need to go very quick at your own front green bowl. A lot of speed and just hope he moves all four. And then he needs to stay in as well, don't he? That looks tight. Yeah, I don't think he's going to move four bowls with that pace, though. No, full house for Mark. That's going to be a set win for Mark Dawes. 11 shots to four. four Thank you for joining us this afternoon once again. Mark Great Dawes. to have Imagine Cruising on board. So if you're suffering some holiday blues, whether it's planes, trains or boats, let's have a look if they have something that takes your fancy.
Well, there you go. If something does take your fancy there, and you fancy a little 5% discount. Use the new code that we have for you this year. Bowls 24, that's valid until the 28th of February this year. And if cruising isn't your thing, they do lots of other holidays as well. They do uh, land-based holidays, rail journeys, very luxury rail journeys at that. Use all the best ships and trains available. Now, this is a better start. Well done. Pace like here, Mark. Have you got enough to get right down? <laughs> Unsure on that. Wait to hear from the marker. It's a very close for shot. This is the nearest one. Yeah, Mark switching his hand now. He's just looking to get down to that bolt, sit on the inside of it. If he can fall back and sit on the jack, he'd be making a two as well. Doesn't want to sit it in. One green. Just fallen over there, so definitely one <laughs> down now. Dear. Yeah, Mark just driving through this, wants the jack clean through the gap. Oh, he's unlucky to get it bounced forward. Still the one down. Mm, yeah, it's gone up the green. I think he is one down, you're right. One shot, Martin Kreft. <laughs> Set score zero one, first end. Jack length, 27 metres. <coughs> yeah, another great opening bowl here from Martin Kraft. He's settling on the pace a little bit more now. Yeah, 
Yeah, well played. Oh, tough played as well. well. It's a really good tussle at the moment between the two players. away you know they get down to the jack oh just pulling up one red good effort though it's another bowl in the head Yeah. Well, that won't be wasted there. So I'd like to see Martin play a bit positive, turn the ball away for three. far away here wants the ball solid not the jack gently gently got it yeah I was looking for the ball nice and solid for three he's got a little bit of the ball and then he's jammed off the red ball so that's good I thought the jack was going slightly further than that probably left Mark a little bit more room than getting the ball solid but well played that's very difficult that shot that he's just played there that to stay up that gets 30 seconds to uh, to, set, to stay where it is after 30 seconds it'll get uh, chocked one red yep, one chock mark does yeah martin's had a look he's uh, he's a very nice man martin I've, I've spoken to him a few times over the last That's few days one one after two he's ends. Uh, such a gentleman length 27 meters Yeah, good again from Mark Dawes. Nice little shelf there for Martin to draw down to. Well, what's your weight like? Let's get to the seam. Just short. Too red. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and a third one in here. Martin just needs to try and play a good second. Still early doors in this second set. Ones are not much at the moment. So I just want to start dropping the count. Now, can he beat the seam? Mark's had a look. She's still three red, is it? Certainly two. I think it'd be a measure on that third one. If you can hit that nice and solid for second, has done, well done. Yep, it's not bad at all. One shot, Mark Dawes. So that's scored 2-1 after three ends. That length 27 and a half meters. <laughs> Yeah, great opening ball there for Martin Kraft. Excellent reply. If he can just get the oh, outside edge, unfortunately, didn't. Strong green. But very good second. Don't double bounce it. Oh, it's been a little bit unlucky there. Probably deserved a lot better. Time out. Mark, you have four time calls remaining.
Yeah, it's finished pretty decent down the back there. It's covering. Mark could elect to have played the red ball through onto the jack. Just lacking that little foot. Nice little draw. Touch on the jack would be a nice bonus. Good to see our Paige Dennis on there. Is she Amy Rose? Yeah, my skip in the Amy Rose. Two, two years on the bounce, bounce we've won that. Have you? Mm. We should tell me. <laughs> One shot, Martin Kreft. So, single for Martin. <laughs> Evens it up. Two shots apiece. So that's scored 2-2 two, two after four ends. One more game for you today, this evening's session. At uh, 7.30, we have Nicky Brett taking on the, uh, the qualifier from Belfast, Alistair Coleman. I think, is it, is it me and you tonight? No, me and Graham, isn't it? Me and Graham tonight. Yeah, I've got a night off. Going to the bingo, are you? Might do. Jack length, 28 metres. Oh, well played, Martin. Just needs to get up, sits back on it. Yes, well played. Yeah, really are seeing some quality bowling in this second set. He's played some good draws. Oh, the ball's falling down there. One green. Well, can he do it again? I don't think, but it's in a favourable position. Well, Mark. Very, very close. Just needs to get over the top of the front. Full. Yeah. Yes, probably. <laughs> yeah, if I was Martin, say, One have red. a little look at this. That plant looks very favourable. If he plays the forehand with weight, he's got that plant outside Time red. Call, Plants the red bowl away. Could spin onto the jack for a Martin, pair. If he's slightly underneath, he's got the other green bowl 
fat onto the Red Bull as well for a two or a three. I think he needs to play it uh, pretty positive. I mean, the forehand, if you try and time it, tends to go pretty quick. But he's had a good look at all the angles. Or, of course, he could draw right around the top with very, very decent pace. Needs to get the plant. Not quite. One shot, Mark Dawes. <laughs> Set score three two after five ends. Chat length twenty eight and a half meters. Well, slightly looser start from both players here. <laughs> See, Mark's looking very confused, isn't he? It's, uh, it's a slightly below par this evening, isn't it? Well, this afternoon. Yeah, still playing well, but he yeah. hasn't quite got the consistency that he usually has. Trouble is, with Mark, you just expect... <laughs> you just expect the best all the time, don't you? Another one in, but still a fair bit of room there. At least two feet for Mark to draw. Just to stay up and pass the ball. Not sure. I'm going to go for the middle green, I think. Still no change, but very much a wall forming that. Mark just needs to slip past with good weight.
Yes, done enough there, well played. One red. That's him. You can see there how horrible that looks on the mat. You can't see any bit of the jack. There's a four bowl wall in front of it. The, the trouble is he can't afford to attack it. It's only one down and there's a really bad connection. Anything in the front onto the shot bowl is losing a three. He's just got to play what Mark's played and hope he beats it. Time out. <coughs> Martin, you have three timeouts remaining. Yeah, you can't risk playing into that and getting the green onto red because that's just turning the jack back and Mark's got two waiting. Did elect to play it. I would say, fortunately, he's missed that. One mark. I'm not quite sure what he had One to shot, achieve Mark on, does. on the backhand, though. The plant on the jack with three down. I mean, look at the score. So that's called 4 2 after six ends. Don't forget, we've got one more open singles match this evening between Nick Brett and Alistair Coleman. Then tomorrow we start the mixed pairs competition. First game is between Paul Foster, MBE, and a, his partner Lauren Gowan Jack against Lace, Mark Dawes again and Julia Gallo. Yeah, Julia from the United States. Yeah, she played in the open singles competition earlier in the week and unfortunately bowed out to David Bolt. Lauren Gowan uh, from Wales, very talented young player. A very good future ahead. Nice to see some new people on the portable rink as well in the ladies' world match play. They obviously also play in the mixed pairs. Yeah, you could see no Nicole Rogers back again. Hmm. She's been here for several years now. Usually puts in a good performance. Well played, Martin. Yeah, well adjusted. One green. Yeah, fair reply there, just lacking that foot of pace to get the shot he just checks behind doesn't he I think he's looking to see where the T is just to see what his pace is well that finishes a good spot, really. Yeah, nothing for short there, was there at all? I mean, Mark has got a, a nice positive shot if he wants to play it, flicks the bowl away. Can use his own bowl, of course. Drawn this. What a great ball for nothing that. Very unfortunate to, to just get that fall onto the jack. 
question from Hugh Dunn. One shot, Mark Incraft. Yes, taking that. 4 3, the score now for Mark. Uh, Mark Hugh Duff is asking are all the so qualifiers four, straight knockout or do some countries have round robin? Um, yes, some countries do have round robin, Hugh. Um, the main one is uh, the one in South Africa in uh, the Durbanville Bowling Club, Cape Town. They they certainly were round robin. They were trying something new. A couple of the overseas countries were just slightly struggling, so I worked, um, worked quite closely with them over the last 18 months. And um, they they did exceptional, to be fair. Got themselves a good sponsor, which are on board again next year. Um, I just was offering just some some different tips, really, different advice on how to try and build their qualifiers up half, when you live in such a, a huge country. You know, people travelling from Joburg or Durban. A lot of uh, a lot of travelling if you're just going to play for an hour and get beat. So they opened it right up and had uh, round robin groups where you were guaranteed three games in the singles and three games in the pairs, and uh, that worked for them. And I was very fortunate enough to be invited over to to do some commentary on it as well. And it's a very good standard, to be fair. So, yes, it's played outdoors. They've only got one indoor green in South Africa, which is a little uh, two rinker um, mid. I was getting it wrong, mid something or the midway, I think it's or midwest. Uh, but it's only a two rinker. But the grass greens there, they were pretty decent paced, you know, 15 and a half, 16 seconds. And uh, of course, you've got the, the lovely sunshine. You fancy a holiday, you want to go and play in their qualifiers, you can do Easter weekend this year. One green. What's my last one short, Greg, please? Yeah, the gap is 11 inches. just having a look at this to review his options you know his time's running out for this set and to be in with a chance of winning the match well it's a big bowl isn't it i mean having lost that first set like you say it's if he drops one here then he needs to score a three if he can draw one then it's a one end shootout so out. it's definitely worth using Martin, the time out two wisely time outs remaining. Um, and, and just to go and have a little look i mean it's not an easy draw uh, by any means, but uh, he'll be having a little look at the, the angles and what space he has available. I don't think it'll change at all. Short.
One shot, Mark Dawes. So, single first mark. Set score 5 3 after 8 ends. That length 28 meters. Non toucher. One green. Well, still a chance, so you can do, just keep giving yourself a chance. Still a chance, nice little tickle on the jack. Time out. Mark three time call. Time outs remaining. a little bit unlucky had he finished the other side of those bowls then that wouldn't have given him a an option oh he's doing that little finger trip i'm no good at that at all time out martin you have one time out remaining So, let's have a look, Martin. Can you get a nice tickle on the jack? It's coming down. Very close, Martin. He's done it. Or has he? Three shots, man. He has. <laughs> Three, wow. Three shots, second, second set, Martin Kreft. What a bowl from Martin Griffiths. 
It is a hole. Mark will be fuming at that. Just got the wrong side of the bowl. Left Martin the chance Martin and the wow, absolutely inch perfect. So, tie break we go. So comments there about Mark left some choke on his bowl there. To, I love how people jump in. Um, it's not illegal, yet sometimes it does happen. People do, from time to time, leave the chalk on the bowl. The WBT rules, so and our feet. rules are, if a bowl is chalked and it gets sent down the green by mistake, um, most, if you're playing league games or, or like internationals, etc., um, they would rub the bowl to make sure that the rink comes off. We nominate it as a non-toucher. You, you don't want to be interfering um, with, with the bowls, like just for the sake of scratching some chalk off. So... Um, Nope, that's what the rule is there. Well, Mark Dawes here looking for a really promising first bowl. I think he'll perhaps be a little bit surprised that we've gone to the tie break and be a bit disappointed that he wasn't able to cover that trail. But what a bowl that was. I think shell shocked might be the answer there, but he has to he has to really regroup now and uh, put it behind him. So the tie break, of course. See, there's a few of you just commenting about tie breaks if you're first on. So um, the accumulative score doesn't matter. So it's just the first of the players to win two of the three ends. So it doesn't matter whether you scored a one or a four. It's still go down as just an end one. Um, Bobby Morris said, "What does it mean to kill an end?" Uh, so. If the jack goes outside the confines of the rink, so you'll see the two little yellow stickers at the side. If it goes wide of that, it comes onto the respots, which you can see just left and right there at the centre. Two red. For the top 16 out already, can we see another one? Yeah, it's seven inches in front of the jack high. One red. Not quite getting down with that pace. Tie break first end, Mark Dawes. Yep, Mark will be pleased with that. First bit of blood in the tie break goes to Mark. Mark Miller, is the tie break the same number of ends? No, just play three ends, mate. A three end tie break. If either of the ends is tied, and then you get a one end each, then you play a one ball shootout, is, is the rule. I nearly saw one yesterday with John meters. Wilson when they tied that very first end.
Uh, another really great start here from Mark Dawes. <laughs> Martin, Excellent played it. Reply here and played it. it. Oh, oh. One green. Mm. Right, just checking the big screen, seeing the rough positioning of the ball. Unlucky there to make the head a bit wider. Mm, I, st I still think Mark may just play down the forehand. No, just have a look. It depends if it's one or two. His ball's just fallen as well. Ah, okay. It's only so two. It's two. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he could play down the forehand, get to the bowl, lift his own, or stick with the backhand. Could use that last bowl, like you say there, Em. Mark, three timeouts remaining. Yeah, he's going for the forehand. Just a couple of little options down here. If he's just up, just over the top. Now, if I was Martin, I'd beat Mark to it. I'd draw the forehand and take his shot away, force him to play more weight. Martin's got the best back position there. Yes, the Jack may get stuck or get a bit of a ricochet, but uh, I'd play the forehand and just draw anything six inches short I'm on out. the line, right in front of Mark's line there. Martin, you have one timeout remaining. <coughs> yeah, I think he's going to play it. Front touch, of course, is excellent, but anything between that and six inches short, bang on Mark's line, will cause him a bit of a headache. Only dangerous if it's a bit quick, tight, turns Mark in. But uh, won't be doing it on that line. Perhaps left an edge there now, isn't it? Has, yeah, it was just a bowl too wide, wasn't he? Still got to be played, though. So, can Mark Dawes win the match with this bowl? Or will we be going to a third, third tie-break end? You left your teeth in the glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Is he up? It's like, no, it's Is not he reaching. Up? Oh, Mark. So we go in to a third end tie break, of second the tie end, break. Martin Kress. Seriously. All the way. So, third end of the tie break. Rules change slightly again. This is the only end where you are allowed to kill the end. Um, you have to nominate it first to the official. And um, you can nominate it as many times as you like. So you could nominate with all four balls if you want to. Um, but you can only kill it once. So once you've killed it, that's gone. Each player can kill it once each. Jack length, 29 metres. I 
This, uh, this certainly would be the biggest upset so far. The championship should Martin manage to, to win this one. Just lost his pace again. Well, big chance here for Martin Kraft to completely capitalise on that. If he can get to the jack first, it'll be really quite hard for Mark to get there with these short bowls in the way. I can't see it. Well, I don't think we've seen the winner of this end, that's for certain. There's, there's quite a bit of room for, for both of these players. inches. Looking for the two. Needs to bend. Well, here we go. You can see a dead jack now. I mean, has he shown his hand? Trouble is, of course, if Mark plays it again, he's going to have to finish very, very close to the jack wherever he hits it because Martin has the luxury of the last bowl, obviously, because uh, the tie break, you can elect to keep the jack or give the jack away. Depends on whether you've won the I toss know. or not. Mm, well, Mark there's a draw on down the backhand, but oof, that's not easy. This would be an upset. Yeah, what a game this has turned out to be. I don't know what to play here, Emma. I mean, I think I'd be back and draw. Yeah, cause just look to get inside. It's giving you a length. Yeah. Had Martin uh, not have had the the last bowl, he'd been playing the, the bowls or the jack, I think. But it's a dead draw now, and he's really, really good pace. Far away. I don't get think he's getting down. back. It's not, unless he gets a little cheeky touch. It's not. Wow. So Third another one of the top Martin 16 Kirk. goes out of these Imagine Cruising 2024 World Indoor Championships. That is a big upset, but well done to the New Zealander, the big New Zealander there, Martin Kreft. He plays some really, really good stuff. Crowd showing their appreciation to the overseas qualifier. Always good to see the qualifiers come here and do well. So just before we go live for the uh, post-match interview, let's have a little look at why Imagine Cruising once again is more than just a cruise.
to do anything like that. days of the, the boring holiday are over, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as you can see there, that is everything but boring. If you fancy one of their trips, then go to imaginecruising.co.uk. Don't forget their 5% discount code, which is BOWLS24. That needs to be used by the end of February. Well, we're ready to go ringside and join Emily Ferguson, who's with the players. Well, what a game that was. Mark, you started off fantastically winning the first set. Second set also started off strongly, but just managed to lose it. What's your assessment of the game? I know you're going to find this quite a tough loss. Uh, yeah. Um, didn't play as well as I would have liked, but that's no disrespect to mine. Mine played really well and played an absolute monster on the last end down here. A shot that a lot of people would, you know, take a lot of money for to so just turn the jack that far on here. Um, but yeah, just seemed to, you know, lose the pace back into the second set and just didn't play enough good balls, and then Martin played the good ones when he needed to. So. Yeah, absolutely. And Martin, wow, that final bowl on the second set, absolutely brilliant. What was going through your head? Because if you'd missed it, it would have been game over. Oh, I just had to give it a chance, to be fair. Um, and they are the shots that I do like to play, so I did have confidence before I started. So, yeah, I was just hoping to get down to that cat. So you've got um, Alex Marshall, MBE, in the next round on Thursday. What are you going to learn and take away from this game? Um, just keep, keep going the one gun. I mean, everyone's great in this competition. Just to compete in this was awesome. So that was a win for me. So anything was a bonus after that. So. And how have you found the portable rink? So it's the first time here. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. I, I enjoy it. It's similar to what we have back home in Dunedin. A wee bit quicker, and we're using wider bowls, of course. So um, no, it was great. And... and uh, to beat this fella is absolutely brilliant. Well, um, thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's take a look at what we have got coming up this evening. So it's another match in the Open Singles. We will see Nick Brett play Alistair Coleman. So thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you later.